Hello, class. Good evening. Can you guys listen to me? Hello. Hello. How is it going, Daniel? How's it going, Harrison, Rafa, Narciso, Marlene, Gabriel, Gabriela? Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Nice and sad. Very disappointed. Yeah, very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Very disappointed. Yeah. How <laughs> say reality? ¿Cómo se dice la cruel en realidad? Cruel. Uh, like, that that would be like that is a cruel reality, right? <laughs> cruel, cruel reality. Okay. Yeah. Cruel, cruel reality. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's sad. I think they made many mistakes on the field, but it's at the end, it's fine. We have to be humble and accept, you know, these things. <laughs> JC, did you watch the match, the soccer match on TV? Hmm. Yes, teacher. We did I watch. I yeah. did watch. <laughs> you did watch it. Okay, good. And then, well, you know, we have to accept. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, I told, I told teacher, I told a difficult game. Yeah. Uh, any, any, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, exactly. Anyway, you know. Yeah, but we did it. I mean, we faced Canadians, and well, they defeated us, but it's okay. Guys, uh, welcome. Thank you so much, I see, for sharing. Thank you so much, guys, for turning on your cameras. We are going to start today with our session number 15. This is just incredible because uh, we are finishing today unit number three. So that means that we are um, basically finishing our week number three too, okay? And I really hope you guys are working on the activities on a daily basis, okay? So you don't, you don't accumulate assignments and today you can finish all the assignments that are pending so I can send the grades tomorrow morning, okay? That is very important, guys, to uh, keep track on your assignments. How many of you have already finished uh, assignment number three? With your reactions, please. Uh, Show me a thumbs up like this to see if JC did it. Okay, nice. Thank you, Harrison. Be careful, Harrison. Be careful. Okay, be careful. I know you're driving. Rafa, thank you so much. Elsie, okay. What about you, Elsie? Narciso. If you already finished your assignments, ya terminó sus assignments. So thank you so much for your commitment. Gracias por su compromiso. Still you have today. So you can finish all this. Todavía tienen este día para terminar. Tomorrow, I am sending the report, okay? To our administrators or coordinators, okay? So guys, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you once again. How was your day? Tell me, how was your day? Besides the selecta, you know, losing the game, uh, how do you feel today? Como se siente? How do you feel? Before watching the game, I feel happy. <laughs> Before watching the game. No, no. <laughs> You felt just kidding, just kidding. No, no problem. I how say I just see the come as in the way of seeing it, but you're just see the eh, estilo partido de la selección está en un día, así que ya puedo morir tranquilo. Sí, ya, ya, vi, ya vi un partido de, del Mundial, El Salvador en, el, en un Mundial, así que ya, con eso me conformo. Okay. <risa> ok. 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 <risa> nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I see your point. I see your point. I haven't seen that. So maybe, maybe one day, tal vez algún día. Okay. All right. So let me start checking the attendance, guys. Number one on the list, Narciso. Thank you so much, Narciso. And number two, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Number three, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, number three, number four, Elsie. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Miss Seron. Uh, uh, next one, Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Let's move on. Next one. Harrison is there. He's driving. Um, let's see. Jose Miguel. Jose. Not connected. Okay, let's move on. Jose Ruben. Not connected. Hmm. Let's move on. Uh, JC. Chair. Thank you. Um, Present. Thank you, Linda. Present, teacher. Oh, Linda is there. Good. Uh, Maria Idalia. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. So Linda is here. Maria Idalia is here. Uh, Maria Julia. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you so much, Maria Julia. Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. Marvin. 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 Okay. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much, Norma. Uh, Rafa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rafael and then Raquel. Okay. Present. Thank you. Reynaldo. Xiomara. Judy. Okay. Teacher, I'm present also. Yeah, 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 I heard. I heard you said that. Thank you so much. All right, uh, guys, um, something is wrong with my, my connection, my connectivity, I think. Veo la mayoría de ustedes con las cámaras apagadas. Maybe it's my connectivity. I can only see uh, Rafa, Narciso, Judith, JC, Cristina, and Daniel. The mass stand off. Okay, uh, well, maybe it's my connectivity. I just turned off my camera as well because of this. Uh, in here, it's raining. Like in my town, it's raining again. But then I uh, will see how the class goes. If you don't listen to me, please let me know so we can uh, repeat or do whatever is necessary for the class to keep going, okay? I want to start today. Uh, today is a whole review, guys. We have a review for the class, but I want you to start thinking about this uh, first activity, okay? Um, can I have Norma please read what you see on the screen? I don't know if it's not big, but I can't make okay. it clear. Yes, thank you. Okay. Mention your name and with your first initial thing about a value or a positive word. Shall it explain? Okay, so take one or two minutes and um, think, for example, I can say um, what? Uh, if it is Rafa and then what is the first initial? Is the letter R. So think about one value with the letter R, okay? Um, so if it is uh, what, Norma? The letter, the starting letter is, the initial letter is N. So think about a positive word or a value and then explain it, okay? You understand this activity? Se entiende? You can use either name, first name or second name. For example, my first name, as you know, is Jesus. 
right? My first initial is J. So I can say justice, for example, justice. Or I can say joy, I don't know. So you see, because I consider that I like uh, being joyful <laughs> and smiling, you see? So basically you tell me why. Think about that and then I'll give you two minutes and then you share it, think about it. Is it clear? You got it? Yes. Teacher. All right, go ahead, please. Everybody do it, take two minutes. I'm thinking about the letter A, like my second name is Armando. I just, I think it can be a good idea to say acknowledge, acknowledge, mm -hmm. or acknowledgement. What else? Oh, apologies. I don't know, sounds good. Uh, but I want to hear you guys. So take turns raise your hand and say what's your and i want you to think about somebody else you know possible option for example i see but i'm gonna i'm gonna say it later okay but now only you okay so take your time raise your hand and, and participate please Let's do it. Go ahead. First one. Do you have your? Come on, open your mic. Talk to me, please. Talk to the class. Me what you sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daniel. Okay, my name is Daniel. Um, my uh, value or positive words with letter G is dance, 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 or dancing. <laughs> okay, I like it. Do you know what? I like to dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like to dance bachata. <laughs> or... No, bachata no, only... Only cumbia, only cumbia. Only, only Aniceto <laughs> Molinas. Okay. Okay. Hey, I, I, I have a word for you, Daniel. Daniel. Okay. A, okay. A D of discipline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. Thank you. And any, any other <laughs> for Daniel? Desire. This desire. Okay. Desire. Okay. Good, I like um, diplom diplomatic. You see, I, what? that's I, what I, 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 I like. I treat people. I treat people. Uh -huh, I treat, 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 uh -huh. treat people as like these people treat, treat me. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, this is the, the important for me. Okay. I like it. I like that one. Very good. Very good. I like it. Thank you, Daniel. Great participation. Let's listen to your peers. Escuchemos a los compañeros. I want to try, teacher. Please. Uh, my name is Idalia. Uh, my first initial is I. I. See? No. See. <laughs> and I think in imag imagination, I'm a person, a creative person. Nice. I like it. Let's see, Dahlia. I like your word, imagination. I think, Dahlia, I have one for you. Inspiration. 
Inspiration. Yeah. Anybody else, guys? Do you have any other for Italia? Uh huh. Italia. It's good, good ones because I I like to make uh, or write for. Okay. You see, you have to write one for us for this class. Okay. And in English, not in Spanish. That's a challenge. Okay. So next okay. when next Wednesday, I will give you some minutes. Okay. So you can say your um uh poem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Um so so thank you so much. Anybody else, guys? I would like everybody to participate, okay? I want to hear you. Go ahead, please. Come on, come on, come on. Me, teacher. Hmm? Uh, my name is Rachel, and the values is responsibility because I am a very responsible person in anything I do. That is a great contribution. I have a I have a word for you, Rachel. I have respect. Respect is a good one for you. Respect. Um, what else, guys, do you think for Rachel? Respect. Um, let's see. Resilience. I like that one. Resilience. That's, that is a really good word, actually. Resilience. Uh, any other word for Rachel, guys? Any other? I'm thinking. <laughs> Help me to think. You didn't pensar. More word for it. We have said two: resilience, respect, um, romance, uh, <laughs> romantic. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Rafa. I know you want to participate. Thank you so much, okay. Rachel. My name is Rafael. My first initial is R. My value is honest man because I say only true. Ah, okay. So you say honest. You are an honest person. Okay. Well, I like your value. I like your value. And then, did you think about one with your first initial, Rafael? Um, let's see, with letter R. I'm thinking. Letter R. Mm -hmm, with the letter R. <laughs> I, you know what, I'm, I, I have run out of word <laughs> to say. <laughs> So let's think about Rafael. Any word that you can tell with a letter R for Rafa, for, for Rafa guys? Anybody? Uh -huh. I can think of one. I'm looking at you. Let's see. Um, oh, runner. Because you love running. <laughs> you, you're a runner. <laughs> Rafa, I love, I love, I love runner. Right. In the morning. Oh, I got another one. Resistant. Because you very strong, you know. Right. Um, okay, so we have two for you. I think it's okay. Let's move on. I want more participations, please. What do you have? Me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. My name is Marlene, and the first initial is M, and the word is magic. <laughs> you can do magic. Okay, magic is a good one. 
What else do we have nice, for? Nice, nice. Ma... Okay, let's think about one for Marlene. Guys, help me out, please. It's not only me who's thinking. Everybody's thinking. Okay. Memorable. I like this word for you, Marlene. Memorable. Like someone who you, you remember because of a nice experience. Memorable. Um, a mystery. <laughs> You're a mystery, <laughs> mysterious person. Um, I want to, I want to make a very short uh, parenthesis. Uh, I know a little bit told me that today we have somebody who's uh, celebrating one year more of life. Am I correct? So I know Marlene is turning uh, 15 years old today. So happy or sweet 15 years old, Marlene. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, I heard it. Por ahí lo escuché. A little bird told me so that you're turning 15 años, 15. So that's why I want to <laughs> say congratulations oh, for yeah. that. And God bless you, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> okay, congratulations for that. Thank you. And I really hope you enjoyed your day. Okay, and God bless you and give you many, many years full of blessings and success. Si alguien quiere mencionar algo, Marlene, guys, uh, I'll give you the chance, one or two minutes. Oh, pueden mandarle al chat, ¿verdad? Ya que, esta, ya que esta tiernita tiene 15 años, dice que... Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Marlene, happy birthday to you. Okay. Oh. Hey. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pastel, que lo envíe, que uh -huh. le ahora pastel. Uh -huh. After a, 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 a virtual cake. <laughs> a virtual cake. Yes. Yeah, a virtual cake. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. It's, so what do you say? Happy birthday, little Marlene. That what you say, oh dear Marlene. <laughs> Happy birthday to <laughs> you. <laughs> Okay, uh, good. Um, so I really hope really? once again that you enjoyed it. Uh -huh. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Alguien más iba a mencionar algo? Uh -huh. Ahí le está mandando un mensajito a Marlene y le dicen que. What do they say? Teacher. Happy birthday, Marlene. It says, okay, go ahead. Uh, thank you so much for, you know. Uh, your kind words for her, guys, and we move on. Pero la haya pasado bien, Marlene, que la hayan consentido, que ni haya de trabajar ahora. Okay. Y tempranito estaba trabajando. Okay, adelante, alguien va a participar. Um, my name is Elsie, and my initial is E. Is relied in it with effort. I consider that is if I make an effort on a daily basis, I will achieve my goal of speaking English. Yeah, exactly. That is so correct, uh, Elsie. Effort, I love that word. Okay, because if you make an effort, you know, that's for sure that you are going to speak the language. I want to give you a one word, energy, enthusiasm. What else? Um, in your case, um, energetic is the same, I think. Uh, what else can you tell, guys? Algo más quiera mencionar? Okay. No. <laughs> All right, no problem. Thank you so much then for, for sharing. Um, well, is there any other who would like to uh, say your initial and your value, please? Alguien más? Anybody, anybody? No. Okay. I'm going to stop here because we need to now check on the... Um, Listening, okay. Did you do the listening, guys? Listening? 
I want to see your reactions. Consul's reactions, go ahead and show me. Um, only, the, only the first picture, the second is not working. The Harvard University is not, is not work. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Let's see what you the learn. Second teacher. Bueno. Teacher, the second is a Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, compartamos, veamos. Compart let's share. Compartamos vocabulario que aprendieron de listening. Comencemos compartiendo mm -hmm. de score. La verdad que este bien cortito. Ah, go ahead, Daniel. Daniel. What I, I, I have a, is or drug. Just for the for the how can I, how can how can talk como el bajo como el spa recién de llego andaba bueno no sé Daniel no sé si los demás lo escucharon Mira. medio medio andaba ah ya entendí no le escuché muy bien lo, lo que estaba diciendo pero se hablaba como que se andaba a little ah. bit drunk yes 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 ah uh -huh. I think no okay. because because he he used to work mm, and when I when I when I say I go to the social no sé qué, así, hablando de lo, de lo raro. <laughs> but, but I understand, I understand um, the first thing. Okay, okay, got it. I see your point. I see your point. Um, so let's see. Let's take a look at the vocabulary, guys. What did you learn? Oh, Linda says get on and get off. Okay, good one. Linda, explain to us, please. What does it mean? Well, get on is, but I don't know, but a board, a board to the bus or the train. If I don't know, and get off is, no sé, bajarse, get off, bajarse. Okay, yes, you're right. <laughs> yes, okay, good. I love the rain, but I hate the connectivity. I think it affects. I think it affects. I love when it's raining, but the connectivity is too bad. Well, um, the last word I heard is uh, was Linda explaining get on and get off. What other vocabulary do you learn? Or did you learn from this, guys? Ya todos se lo podían. Wow, that's really cool. Yes. Yes. Todo. Nice. Nice. What else? Nothing to be sure. I not. don't remember, but there is a, an expression, expression that they, they say uh, about tales and help. help and, I don't know. Maybe somebody, someone remembered. De que no tienen cabezas ni pies. No sé cómo dice. No recuerdo bien. Ah, I got it. Teacher, I'm you here. Hey, bueno, acabo de hacer una, una, un cambio en la red. Espero esto funcione un poquito mejor. Ok, uh, le di un restart al, al router. Hopefully that's going to help. Ok, um, well, 
me escuchan o no, o peor que de este volado. <risa> 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 ok, yeah, I think I love it. Uh, hold that traffic. Um, well, um, now trying to remember what I think Linda said. Yeah, there was one expression, okay, which uh, they said something about uh, tails and uh, head and tails, something like that, right? It's not, it's not that common. I, I hadn't heard it like much, but then it makes sense. Who remembers this expression? I, to make head or tails off something is basically what? Is uh, when you don't understand something, that's basically when you can't make head or tails about something. And the example we have, I want, I, I want to give it to you. Um, let me copy from the, let me see, yes, one second. So look at this example. I'm gonna share it right now with you guys. I think this is the one that Idalia, I'm sorry, that was Linda, Linda referring. I can't make heads or tails of this train map, right? That's the one. So basically uh, in this case is saying that you cannot understand it, okay? So that what it means. Actually, this example is from the website. I just copy paste, okay? But when you have this expression, that what it means. It's not o easy sea, to. Uh -huh. Teacher, es cuando nosotros, cuando nos fuimos en español, no le dio ni pata ni cola. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I like <laughs> it. Que, 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 que algo que no se entiende, pues. Ajá. No le dio eso. Exactly. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Exactly. I like. I hadn't thought about that. No había pensado en eso. Ajá. No le encuentro ni pata ni cola. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, good. Anybody else, guys? And hold that traffic. As there's another one. What else? ¿Qué más? Linda, algo más que quiera compartir? No. 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 Cuando, y cuando 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 ande en bolos, como decía Daniel, ¿cómo va a decir no, Daniel? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. No yeah. problem. Ya yeah, Rafa bueno, le va. Bueno, bueno. When I when I when I when I I'm drunk I I talk faster English. <laughs> Siempre es hablar más fluido porque está bolo. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I can so. say I I I I I drive better with with cuando 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 estoy bolo manejo mejor. When I'm drunk, I, I drive better. <laughs> okay. Do the okay. answer. I drive better. I'm sorry? He said, no problem. Or she said, no problem. Instead of, you're welcome. Exactly. No problem. Yeah, we can say that. It's a little bit informal. But instead, instead of, you're welcome, you can say, no problem. No problem. It's my pleasure. No problem. Okay. Yeah, so, well, we have nice, this is a nice one, and I like this conversation because it's very short, okay? And if it is short, it's easy to understand, okay? Si no la hizo, pues, hay un espacio, por favor, y vaya a completarla. Don't, don't take this for granted. No lo de por sentado. Go ahead and, and practice it. Well, uh, we have many things to do today. We have to review. We have to check on some uh, activities that are pending. And then I'm going to start, let's see, sharing right now my screen because there's an activity that it requires some preparation. And this is what a very, um, it can be like a um, pair work activity. Okay, let me, let me show you what I mean. I think you have seen it already. Let's see. Look at this one. Uh, tell your partner, okay? Tell your partner a call you had, okay? And pretend the customer was very angry because of a bad service. So tell your partner all the questions you ask to find out, or the solution, to find a solution, okay? So think about a problem you had in which a customer, in this case, you are gonna be the agent. Ustedes van a ser los que van a solucionar because you are the agent. ¿Qué preguntas usted tuvo que hacer para ayudar a encontrar al cliente una solución? You assist in a customer. So it's like a conversation. De repente pensemos que Linda le está contando a Daniel, hey, uh, you know, I had this customer 
estaba bien molesto porque no le habían ayudado. Nobody has helped him. And, you know, I had to ask this and this and this and that so I can help. Ese es el punto. Entonces, le voy a dar un espacio para que piensen en esas preguntas. Uh, today's uh, topic is basically about open questions or information questions. Y eso va conectado. Así que I'm going to give you uh, some minutes. Y tratemos de aprovechar el tiempo lo máximo que se pueda, guys. Así que eh, creo que en grupos de tres días, que en veces de dos se quedan solitos uno si se desconecta el otro. Más ahora en, ese, en estos momentos especiales de rain, it's very easy to be, um, I mean, to have problems with connectivity. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta antes que los, el, hagamos grupos de trabajo para hacer este, esta actividad? No es, no es tanto como un, un, un diálogo de cliente y, 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 y representante o agente. Es más bien entre amigos contándole al otro. ¿okay? ¿Cómo le ayudó a solventar? ¿Qué preguntas tuvo que hacer para solventarle al cliente? Here we go then. Okay. Oh, my phone, my phone. Worry. I don't remember. Worry. Worry. Yes. Tell me, tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> tell, tell me why. What's happening to you? Okay. Tell me why. 
happen? What happened to you? To you? Yes, me. Yes, it happened. It happened. Happening. Happening. Pero por qué me digo de que estaban presentes. Ah, okay. pasó? Okay. Ah, ahí sí. ¿Sí? En pasado. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasó? Happen, pero es con, le falta una... We deliver. We deliver the the smart TV. Uy, no gusta el corrector. Deliver to his smart to his address TV. or to his home to his house to, to his, his home. To his, sí. home. to his home to his house and but the screen. But the screen was and the screen, uh huh, and the bro, bro, and the screen, rota, bro, broken, broken, uh huh. With the company, Teacher. Tell me, what is it? I have a question. Tell me, what is it? Is, hijo, como, es como una conversación. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Sí, es una, es una conversación contándole a su compañero sobre un, o sea, si, si un cliente estaba molesto y le dice, mira, ah, mi cliente me llamó, estaba molesto. Y yo le doy todas esas preguntas, le hice para que le ayude a solventar el problema. Pero algo que nos haya pasado a nosotros. O puede ser inventado. Es que estamos inventándolo porque ninguno ha pasado por una situación así. Vaya, qué chivo, así usan la imaginación. Y en Jader es como... Como que si yo les estoy contando a ellos que he tenido un problema con una, en una compañía con una compra que hice de un teléfono. Y Ay. ellos me estarían preguntando a mí este, qué problema, okay. eh, cómo me solucionaron, por qué se dio ese problema. Ok, ya, yeah. está bien. I like it, me parece. Bueno, tómese unos minutitos más. Ok, chido. Ya me está conectando. Oye, teacher. Hello, is it me you're waiting for? Se me había caído el internet, pero eso está ahorita, me estoy conectando otra vez. 
¿Con quién estaba uh -huh. trabajando usted? Ahorita, no con nadie, es que me sacó justo con usted. Dijo de que hiciéramos la, vale. la conversación. Voy a mandarla en ese momento. Yo sí la hice, pero eso estaba haciendo justo, se acaba de conectar. Miguel. José, José Miguel, me escucha. Oh, yeah. Fíjense que yo él no le escuché Hola. bien. Él sí no le escuché muy bien. Hola. Sí, yo le escucho perfectamente, José Miguel. Y usted me escucha a él, sí, a mí. Se había cortado. Pero eh, le estaba diciendo que yo sí hice lo de la conversación que usted pidió, pero justo me sacó el. El, el coso este se salió de la clase por el internet. Si la tiene, entonces compártala con José Miguel y perfeccionenla y, este, y aquí se quedan en la sala principal. Oye, Miguel, ¿me escuchas? Sí, ahorita sí. Este, el, el teacher pidió que hiciéramos una conversación donde era como que recibíamos una llamada de un cliente molesto y eh, nosotros le hacíamos un par de preguntas. Él pedía que le hiciéramos, que dijéramos qué tipo de preguntas le habíamos hecho para ayudarle a, a resolver. Entonces, lo que yo hice fue esto. Bueno, te lo voy a decir así. Dice, I received a call from an annoyed customer because at motorcycle, Hopper was broken and to help him solve it, I asked him the following question. One, when pulling the motorcycle, did the, did he notice that it was in good condition? The you should. You should. Uh -huh. You should. Como agendar, no. Mhm. Mm you should. Uh, or reserve, reserve, you should reserve. Uh, como así, como, como poner una cita en el, en el taller para que el cliente vaya. You should, you should reserve. You should, uh, you should reserve. Mm. With, uh, with... Una visita, no sería. Uh -huh. Una visita. visita. Hello, hello, Gerson. Uh, who were you working with? Who is that working? Hi, teacher. I'm just getting the task ahorita. Ah, okay. Entonces, aquí se va a quedar escuchando a los compañeros. Ahí está José, Miguel y está Elsie. Estamos más o menos dándole una, creando una idea de una conversación donde se tuvo que hacer diferentes interrogantes para solventar un problema de un cliente. Y ahí, ahí escuché más o menos a él, si pues sí tiene la idea principal y eso pueden como más o menos ahí complementar entre los tres. Y si gustan uno la comparte o si pueden interactuar, pues también es chido. Pueden interactuar, sino uno que la comparta. Solo que reaccione el otro, ¿verdad? Como si él sí le cuenta a José o José le cuenta a Gerson y solo reaccionen, ¿verdad? En cuanto a, la, a, la, a, la, a las ideas que le comparte su compañero. Él sí comparte a Gerson y enseguida voy a traer a los demás chicos para que compartamos aquí. Lo que tengan está bien. Ok. All right. Ok. Ok. Hola. Teacher. ¿Eh? Teacher. Sí, 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 sí. I'm here. Hola. Le preguntaba si. Eh... Bueno, tenía que compartir las preguntas que yo hice y no sé cómo dar, decir también la solución que, que le di al cliente para solventarle. Uh 
Sí, me gusta. Ajá, comparta las preguntas que hizo y cuál fue su solución exacta. Está bien. Okay. Mm, nice. Hola, Miguel. Hola. ¿Tú medio me escuchaste o no? Es que se quedó sí. congelada la imagen. Sí. Yes. Vaya. Eh, hola, Gerson. Hola. ¿Usted lo hizo o, no, o se va conectando? Vamos no, a una promoción. Una promoción. Eso sería bueno también. Ahí está tú. Que find out that promotion. Yo también pregunté. Sí, how long. Como podemos preguntar, como le pregunté si su pedido había sido congelada él, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Le pidió el número de orden Ay, al cliente. Ahí, ajá, ajá, ahí Porque cómo solucionó este el, el problema. Ajá, entonces allí usted me tiene, allí usted me tiene que decir. Pues, entonces pienso yo que ahí puede decir ah, no, no, que ahí, entonces ahí cuando, le, 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 cuando yo le digo eso no en, en, en ese caso cuando yo le, le, le cuento a usted que le pedí el número de orden y cuando verifiqué también le, le dije de que le iba a dar un descuento por, por el retraso que podría ser I told, ah. uh, I told ah, entonces I... tendría que decir okay, ahí, ahí sigo hablando yo en, en ese caso sería después de que de que corroboré el número de orden y todo entonces te sigo yo y le digo que Se desconectaron los demás. Herson, what happened? Herson. Sí, teacher, se desconectaron. Yo lo, creo que lo, tienen problemas de, sí. de red y por eso apagué la cámara yo. Bueno, lo voy a, a enviar con Daniel para que escuche lo que Daniel tiene preparado. Y este, si, ya, si ya no puede unirse con ellos, pues solamente escucha las ideas de ellos. De Daniel y María Julia. Ellos están en el okay. room 4. Aquí lo vamos a asignar. Sí. Ahí está, ¿no? Elsie, you are having problems with your connectivity. Tiene problemas con la conexión, ¿verdad? Elsie. José también se había desconectado. Um, bueno, este, no sé si logran escuchar. Hola, teacher. Can you listen to me? 
Es que aquí, aquí está lloviendo ahorita. Vaya, no hay problema. Saben que los voy a asignar a un grupo para que vayan a escuchar a sus compañeros porque ya falta poco tiempo para que este, podamos hacer la presentación de las ideas. Solo vayan y escuchen las ideas de sus compañeros. Es todo lo que van a ir a hacer. ¿Ok? Bueno. Hello, Elsie. Hello, hello, Elsie. Can you listen to me? Hello, Elsie. Hello, Elsie. <laughs> Elsie se ha quedado frisada. Elsie, hello. Hello. Hola. Hello, Miss. How are you? Can you listen to me? Ahorita sí. Vaya. Este, sí, entiendo que tiene problemas de conexión. No se preocupe por ello. Solo va a escuchar las intervenciones de sus compañeros. Puede tener la okay. cámara apagada si gusta y más o menos sea, tomando punto de las ideas que los compañeros van diciendo. Ok. 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 Good. Nice. They're just coming. Did you finish, Daniel? Yeah, you had the idea. Yes, teacher. Nice. I think it's, I seem to finish. <laughs> great, great to hear that. Okay, Maria Julia, Maria Dal. Did you finish? No, you didn't do it. Oh. No, we need uh just two minutes more, please. Did you need more time. Okay. <laughs> this, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we are going to do. We are going to check the attendance. And then if you need two more minutes, we're going to go back to, to the breakout okay. rooms, okay? Yes, because I understand you are very inspired, okay? okay? And you want to complete your ideas, okay? So let me go ahead and check the attendance. Uh, number one here, Narciso. Present, teacher. Thank you. Number two, Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you, Harrison. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben. Ruben didn't make it today. JC. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Idalia. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Maria Julia Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Rivera. Present. Thank you, Marvin Omar. 
Marvin. Okay, not here. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Uh, Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Is traveling. Hmm. Xiomara. Present teacher. And Judy. No, okay. Let's take advantage of the last two minutes. Somebody requested two minutes. I'm gonna give you two minutes, okay? So brush it up, así pulan bien el, ¿cómo se dice brush it up? Like, uh, master it, have it ready, and then you are going to share it, okay? Algunos los agregué al final, solo porque vayan a escuchar las ideas de ustedes, okay? So two more minutes, is that okay, Xiomara? Dos minutos está bien o necesita más tiempo? <laughs> Xiomara. More time. More tiempo. More time, please. Five, five. It's okay. With five, I think it's fine. Here we go. Okay. Six. Si ya tienen listo la conversación, practice. Dele en ahí. Exactly. One, two, take turns, and then so on and so forth. Here we go. Hello, Linda. Hello. him the following question one when bull, bullying the motorcycle did did he notice that it was in good condition two is there some is there someone who could break it with intention three a few e in the end, the client told me Linda, hello Linda. Me sal me sacó la plataforma. Vaya, ¿con quién se trabaja? Antes de este solo sáqueme una duda. La palabra que se dice así súper enojado que dijo la vez pasada es piss off. Piss off. Ah, uh, piss pero se escribe como. Sí, ah, se la mandó ahorita. El chat creo que la podría ver. Este, ah. Así, pist, pist. Voy a decir, estoy bien enojado. Sería, I am, I am pissed, pissed off. I am pissed off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pissed right. off. Pissed ok, off. gracias. Uh, ¿Con quién estaba trabajando? Con Idalia. Idalia, ok, Idalia. Ok, aquí está. Vale, aquí vamos.
No, me he todo el minuto. No, tengo el break. Quebrando, el break, el break. <risa> debrando, debrando la, la selecta. Teacher. Help. Teacher. No, Teacher. No, no. Ok, no, no, no. Teacher, ya habíamos terminado nosotros. Este grupo que ya terminó. Ya se practicamos como 40 veces. <risa> Vaya, eh, lo que pasa es que, miren, los demás todavía están pendientes. De un, un, minuto, un minuto más, unos dos minutos más, ya lo voy a llamar, no, porque no, los demás. They're working. No problem. Good. Bien. Thank you so much. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, bye. Ready. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Okay, okay, great. great. Ya, entonces en un minuto lo llamo, porque sea, solo el, el de Marlene falta. Y creo que estamos listos. Narciso, I like your headset. Me llegan su headset, se le ven cool. Ok, nice. And um, well, we're going to listen to your, um, your conversation. I really hope you finished because I gave you more than two minutes, more than five minutes. Ok, so let's see. I want to hear your conversations. I want to hear how you pre um, what you prepared. So um, I give you enough time. So who would like to start? Okay. Maria Julia, go. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Go. Danny. Yes, it is. Hello, Julie. How are you? Hello, Daniel. I'm, I'm fine. Here. And so, so. Oh, tell me why. Um, because I have to give him solution. Oh, the client was angry for a bad service? Yes. The client's department didn't repair. Your car's AC. 
Oh, in this, in this case, you show how book the customer visit. Yes, I get it. Okay, perfect. You did the right thing. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Take care, Danny. Only teacher. Okay. Okay, your teacher. In a mute. <laughs> Sorry, you know. Yeah, I was saying thank you so much for your participation, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> that was what I was saying. Okay. Thank you so much, Julie and, and Daniel, for that. Uh, quería nada más mencionar que no olviden la pronunciación de los verbos en pasado. Por ejemplo, book present, we say book pass. Don't remember, don't forget that, okay? Um, booked, booked, okay? Ya vamos a hablar un poquito de ese tema. Okay, thank you so much. Vamos, otro más. One more, one more, please. Who's next? Come on. Linda, Linda, Idalia, and Judith. Okay. In the start. Yes, yeah, see, sí, see, sí, see, sí, see, sí, I can, okay. Hey, Dalia, do you have time right now to, sorry, I can read, to, to, ouch. No puedo ver. I need, sorry, sorry. I need to talk. Hey, hey Dalia. <laughs> Uh, do you have time? I need to talk with you. Hi, Linda. What happened to you? Well, you know, uh, today morning, a customer bought a smart TV and we delivered it to his home, to her home. And the screen, and you know what? The screen was broken. He was pissed off. I have felt the same way. I think she spent a lot of money. How did you solve the customer problem? I think you should listen to his complaint first. I'm agree with you. Uh, later that, I explained to her that we will send another smart TV but before we send the product, we check it. I guess the client was grateful with you, Linda. I am happy to hear that. Okay, ladies, good job. Don't stop sharing, don't stop sharing. Leave it like that, leave it like that. I wanna make some comments. So congratulations, good, good um, interaction. Great scenario, okay? That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now, uh, some really quick observation. Uh, today in the morning, we say today in the morning, uh, and then something else, he was pissed off. Pissed, pissed off, pissed off. Like as if the ED is T, so pissed off. He was pissed off. And then let's see, there's something else that I wanted to say. I, let's see, what is it? Oh, I am agree with you. No, we say I agree with you because agree means estar de acuerdo. So if si yo digo I am agree with you, estoy diciendo yo estoy, estoy de acuerdo because agree ya incluye estar de acuerdo. You follow me? Si escuchan que alguien dice I'm agree with you, porque se la, eso es súper informal. Pero en realidad el, el correcto es I agree with you. I disagree with you. Si es el negativo. Okay, so remove the verb to be with agree because it's not necessary. Luego, uh, let's see. Um, the, the, escuché que dijeron check it. Yes, checked. We checked it. We checked it. We checked it. Y dice later that. Recomiendo quitar that y poner on. 
later on, más tarde, later on, I explained to her that we will send another smart TV. Bla, 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 ok. Y la última, quitemos heard, porque es I'm happy to hear that. Because it's just an expression, just an expression, ok. And then the rest, it's okay. totally, totally fine. Thank you so much. Let's move on. Let's move on. Thank you. Thank you so much, Linda. She did, I think it was. And, um, and Idalia for sharing, ok. One more, please, go ahead. No se quede con sus ideas porque le ha dedicado tiempo. Así que share it with the class. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Next. Oh, Are you ready, Don Narciso? I'm ready, Christina. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. Narciso. I had a problem with the company word about my cell phone. What is your the problem with your cell phone, Christina? I don't receive the call. Uh, how do you, you solve that problem? I called and they told me that I had to take it to be changed with the technician. Mm, what was your problem? I don't know. They told me they were operating system firewalls. Where did you take the cell phone? I told it to the agents to have a tech. It check it. Who resolved the problem? The technician. And he was very cute. Good. That they solved the problem for you, Christina. Yes. Thank you for listening. Okay. See you later. Good. Thank you so much, Narciso and Christina for sharing. Uh, good interaction. I want to give some really quick observations. Uh, where you say, Christina, with the company where where bought the cell phone, ahí falta el sujeto. Where I bought, donde yo compré, okay? Write the subject I before the verb, okay? Antes del verbo, add subject I. Luego el verbo llamar, escuché call it. Hemos dicho que decimos cold, cold. Cold present, cold past, cold, cold. Eh, Narciso, escuché también decir resolved. Decimos resolved. Resolved. Ya vamos a hablar un poquito de eso. Y para decir agencia, Cristina, decimos agency. 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 Y para decir amable, decimos kind. Kind. Yo creo que era, que era, que era amable. Escuché que dijo King. Es kind. Kind. Ok. Muy bien. Esas observaciones ahí... Uh, I'm sorry que solo les digo la parte quizás negativa, guys, pero es por el tiempo. Lo demás went well, lo demás salió bien, ¿ok? Uh, solo lo malo me dice lo típico. Uh, no, that's the point is because of time. Lo demás salió nicely done, ¿ok? Let's, let's move on. ¿Alguien más? Next. Come on, share, please. Sus ideas son importantes. Your ideas are important. Share them. You have your idea, but you don't want to share, right? Okay. All right. So that's that's how we do it now. <laughs> okay. So let's move on. Guys, I need to move on too, because there are some other things that we need to cover today. Look at this one. Lo que no participaron esa vez, next time you have to do it. Let's solve this one. Hagámoslo como todo, as a whole class, okay? Uh, así lo hacemos rápido. Uh, the first one. How do you, How do you say this one? Missing letters. ¿Cómo nos queda la first one aquí, guys? Remember, like first classes, what do we say? 
Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. En otras palabras, atender la llamada, right? Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Uh, what about this one? What do we have here? Number number three? Call. Call. What about number two? Play. Bye. Okay, number four? Get prices. Check prices. Good. I like it. That was fast. Get prices, right? The get. Okay. And then what about number five? Look at this one. Explain. Explain. Wow, that's really good. Number six. Complain. Complain. Number seven. Help. Help. Okay. Say it again, please. Help. 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 Okay. Number eight. Assist. 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 Okay. Assist. Number number nine. Received. Number ten. Understand. Thank you. Number eleven. Provide one's information. Okay. Provide one's information. And number twelve. Request request wow, that was really fast. Creo que algunos todavía no sé si las terminaron. <laughs> Le voy a mandar la respuesta, o si no, ya la tenían ahí. You got him, you got him. Yes. Ya la tenían. Yes, no? yes. ¿Quién no yes. la tenía? Who didn't have them? Para... Ya la tenían todas, guys. You had them. Vaya, si ya la tenían, pues nice. So now I'm gonna send them to the chat so you can complete, so you can uh, also complete this exercise, you know, in case you didn't have them. Um, let's see. Oops, I think I sent the incorrect one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, um, I sent all the answers already. Wow, congratulations. I don't know what I did. I'm so sorry. Let me let me go ahead and, and start again. So number one is pick pick up the phone. Mm. You see, I, I solved your life. <laughs> so let me do it again, please. Uh, look at this one, okay? <laughs> now pick up the phone, buy, call, get prices, explain, complain. And then we have help, assist, received, understand, provide one's information, and request the information. Okay, así nos quedaría. Le acabo de mandar los últimos dos mensajes tienen la información. Lo demás creo que creo que se fue información ahí que no era perteneciente. Como que, ok, pero los últimos dos mensajes sí completa la idea. Ok, de estas 12, 12 palabras o frases, guys, ¿hay alguna que tenga alguna pregunta de cómo se pronuncia o qué significa? No estamos claros. Pick up the phone. Buy, call, get prices, explain, complain, help, assist, receive, understand, provide one's information, and request information. Any? No? Vaya, entonces, dos voluntarios quiero que lean las, las 12, eh, los, los 12 palabras. ¿Sí? Only read it, only read it. Solo lea. Who wants to do it? Yeah. Thank you so much. We have the first one. Go ahead. Pick up the phone, buy, call, get price, explain, cut play, help, assist, receive, understand. Provide ones, provide ones information. Um, hey. Request. Oh, you. Re 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 request. Request. <laughs> <laughs> I tengo el request. I don't see more. Request information. Request information. Okay. Request Thank information. You, information. Okay, exactly. Well, we have here. Um, una, eh, para decir el verbo asistir, assist, assist, dígalo, JC, quiero escuchar, por favor, say, it. As, assist, primero, assist, assist, 
Ah, exacto. Vamos con Aziz y luego le ponemos el sound. Aziz. Teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. and, y en this case, um, bueno, usted lo hace así, pero al momento de hablar para que no se escuche, podría ser tan escandaloso, lo podría decir, ¿va? en el caso de, no, de nosotros que estamos aprendiendo, o, o, o mi caso, eh, la técnica, porque si yo lo resiste, no, o sea, es que se, yo, yo lo digo para que... El, el, yo sé que usted lo hace, lo hace para que aprendamos, para que diferenciemos, pero en el caso personal, para que no, lo, no se escuche tan escandaloso. Vaya, eh, le voy a dar un ejemplo, una oración. Um, yo asisto a los clientes todos los días. I assist the customer all the day. I assist the customers every day. Le escuchó el t bastante. I assist the customers every day. I you assist the customer every day. En realidad, el, los, los sonidos finales, los sonidos finales son bien importantes. Los sonidos finales, los final words, final endings, o los, en los endings en las palabras son importantes porque nos ayudan a vincular sonidos. Imaginémonos de que, de que yo um, la, al, la, lo ayudé a él. I assist him. him. Por solo agarré el sonido de la T y le puse him. I assist him. I assist her, la asistí a ella, I assist her, un solo, lo, o sea, por ese sonido final es importante considerarlo porque de repente nos ayuda a vincular sonidos. Por ejemplo, el verbo asistir, uh, yo, la, yo la asisto, uh, yo asisto a ella con su actividad, por ejemplo, I assist her with her activity, I assist her, entonces yo ya conociendo ese sonido, ese, ese vínculo que existe, que tiene una T y luego hay, un, hay una H y no se pronuncia y viene her, a sister with her activity. Entonces yo creo que la importancia es, no es exagerar, la importancia es eh, conocer el final sound de la palabra para que ese final sound lo pueda vincular con uno que viene, ¿verdad? Si este es una consonante y luego viene una vocal, es muy probable que lo vayamos a vincular y suene más natural y suene más fluido. No es decirlo rápido, sino decirlo conectado. Connected ideas. If you connect ideas, you sound more natural. If you connect ideas, if you connect ideas, acabo de decir, if you connect Connect, connect ideas, connect, la siguiente que viene es una I, connect ideas, o sea, es lo importante de esa, de esa vinculación nada más. Entonces, lo, logically, si yo digo, si no quiero pronunciar la T, y usted me va a entender, por, escuche esto, I assist her. ¿Verdad? O sea, entendió que ni siquiera dije la T, ¿verdad? Pero... Créame que el, ese sonidito final hace la diferencia en el acento muchas veces. Y se, sobre, y se entiende claramente cuando alguien lo va haciendo los sonidos finales. Los gringos automáticamente lo hacen. Si usted le escucha bien, escucha ese sonidito. Ese sonidito bien, bien, bien uh, clear, ¿verdad? Así okay, que... Richard, thank you. Sí, así que no es exaggerate. Yo a veces digo, de, de hecho nos recomiendan muchísimo exaggerate pero cómo se sienta cómodo, ¿sí? Cómo se sienta cómodo. Okay, eh, muchas you. veces vamos a entender la palabra en el contexto. Sí se puede. Ok, bueno, entonces, let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. Thank you for the question. Hagamos un brainstorming ideas, hagamos una lluvia de ideas. Pensemos en adjetivos. To describe customer satisfaction and dissatisfaction about a product. Ok, veamos qué adjetivos en You think about, hagamos una listita entre todos para ir avanzando. Disappoint. <laughs> Disappoint, <laughs> la primera, va, Daniel. Ok. Yeah. <laughs> Como nosotros por la selecta. Disappoint. El adjetivo sería disappointed. Disappointed. ¿Qué otro adjetivo para dissatisfaction? Angry. Angry, sí, está bien. Angry. Other adjectives, pensemos. And what about satisfaction? Happy. <laughs> happy, 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 happy. Okay. Any other? Happy. 
how do you feel when you uh, your problem is is solved? How do you feel when you be quiet, tranquilo? Yeah. Be quiet is correct. Uh -huh. you can but be quiet. No, maybe maybe no. maybe calm. Maybe um, uh maybe uh please. And be quiet es como está quieto, verdad? Uh huh. Uh huh. Relax. Okay. Sí. Relax. Ah, okay. uh, no okay. sé qué más quiero ver. Be, um, at ease. Relax, please. Uh, be, uh -huh. be quiet. No. Uh huh. Yeah. Los para que. Un niño. <laughs> be quiet, please. Be quiet. Pero be quiet es es este es todavía cortés. Be quiet, como mm. que be, be quiet de como estate quieto o guarda silencio. Be quiet, be quiet. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Sí, be quiet. Silent, please. Be quiet. Pero él él dice shut up and sit down. Ahí es otro rollo. Ya hice yo. Okay. okay. Ajá. O stop it. Fisher. Ajá. Satis, ajá. Sí, ajá, podemos decir satisfied. Porque satisfied es, ajá. How do you feel when your problem is solved? Grateful. Okay, I like it. Grateful. Grateful. Ajá, agradecido. What else? What about the satisfaction? Sir, please. I'm sorry? Sir. Sad, yeah, sad. Uh, irritated. Uh, irritated. Uh, what else? What other things? Upset. Pissed off. What else? frustrated but give me more i'm just giving you some of the one that i think uh i i will feel um mm. Mm. i don't know i think only that <laughs> what other words can you think about other ones mm -hmm. what else comes to your mind for satisfy Satisfied cost as a satisfied customer or dissatisfied. Well, that's your homework. Keep it. Uh, keep like investigating more. Okay. Um, so look at this one. We have happy, calm, please, relax, satisfied, grateful. We have disappointed, angry, sad, irritated, upset, pissed off and frustrated, okay? This is what we have. Vamos a continuar. Veamos, ahí le ponen ustedes las que quieran agregarle y vamos a continuar con esta parte de las um, negative sentence. Y me gustaría que vayamos tomando el turno así en real time, en tiempo real, para ir resolviéndolo. Vamos a darle la primera oración, se la vamos a asignar a Rafa. Rafa, this sentence is in, uh, well, it says, Transform the negative sentence into positive. Vamos a quitarle la negación y la vamos a dejar en, en affirmatives. ¿Cómo nos quedaría, Rafa? She did by the computer. Oh, 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 oh. Are you sure? She? She did. Mm. Are you sure? She? Mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. the computer, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Help me please, teacher. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, the, come on. No, no, the, no. The, 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 the bird pass. Rafa, the bird is a pass. The bird is a pass, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Bye, now you're on, Rafa. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh, what well. is the past, Rafa? What is the past of what, of where, why? Ya le ayudamos con la primera letra. Mira. Oh, bow, 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 bot. 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 Go. No le, no le pongamos el did. Acuérdate que solo es para énfasis. Eso aquí no. Ahorita oh, no. Uh, what about. 
Yo sé que hice mal contraer el énfasis, se creo. Oh, I like it, no. Ok, Rafa, choose the next person. Vamos, Rafa. Next person. Mar Marlene, Marlene. Marlene, next one. Marlene. En agradecimiento porque le ayudó. Thank you. Uh -huh. Es we grow that package. Good. Yes. Marlene, choose the next person, please. Daniel. Ay, ya sabía yo. Ya sabía. Ok. You, you saw it coming, Daniel. You saw it coming. Ya la veía venir. Sí, cabal, ya la veía venir. Ok. The client, the client called yesterday. The client called oh. yesterday. Ok. Good. Next one. Then choose the next person. Let me see. Elsie. Elsie, good. The employees read the email. The employees and then read the email. Okay, ¿cómo pronunciamos el pasado de read, Elsie? Aunque lo ponemos lo mismo y lo decimos. Reading. Se escribe lo mismo, pero lo decimos. Reading. ¿Cómo pronunciamos el pasado de read, Elsie? Red. Exacto. Red. Red. Exacto. Red. Exacto. Red. Exacto. Red. Se escribe lo mismo, pero decimos red. Gracias. Elige el siguiente, Elsie, please. Next. Mm, Rafael. Rafa, otra vez. Back to Rafa. Rafa. Ah, no, 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 no. Ok, Linda. Ok, Linda. Uh, our boss came back last week. Exactly. Our boss came back last week. Choose the next person, please, Linda. Narciso. Okay, Narciso. Thank you, Linda, for helping me. <laughs> for choosing me. Thank you for choosing me. <laughs> Gracias por elegir. Okay, next. Hey. Uh, they canceled the meeting. They can canceled, canceled. You can say you can double the L or the uh, they can cancel the meeting. Okay, next one, Narciso. Who's the next person? Mm -hmm. uh, Christina. My Christina, here, Christina. I they lady. Mm, the lady. The lady want to complain. Mm, ¿Cómo pronunciamos el verbo, Cristina? Wanted. Wanted. Wanted, okay. Want is to complain, okay, good. Next one, la última, elíjalo, Cristina. Okay. Uh, yeah. Norma. Uh -huh. Norma. I sent the phone to this email. Okay, good. I sent, right? I sent the refund, sent the refund to this email. Okay, that's what it is. You see, we finished. That was really fast. I'm glad. I'm glad. Ahí está. If you have, if you haven't finished, si no ha terminado, you have the answers right there. So you can, you can um copy it. Okay. Uh, so let's move on. Let's move on. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta de por qué quedaron así o preguntas de pronunciación o significado? No. Wow. Very good. Let's move on then. Let's move on. Let's see. Let me keep going. Vaya, tenemos. Oops. Tenemos este reto. Miren, guys. Create information questions uh, using the very given. Usted creemos oraciones de informa como oraciones abiertas o de information usando el verbo brindado o dado. Okay. Do. Veamos qué se les ocurre. Any question? This is in the past. Siempre in the past. Information questions. Do you need any help? Okay. Do you need any help? 
Si yo escribo Narciso, do you need any help? Estoy, estaré utilizando el verbo que me han dado. Do you, solo para ilustrar. Do you need any help? Esta está bien. La estructura, la estructura y el significado está bien. Do you need any help? Pero estaré usando el verbo que me han otorgado. Es do. No, no. Um, I think no. No, porque el do, el do is in the and what did you do yesterday? Me gusta esa. Le voy a explicar por qué. No le explique a Marlene y Narciso por qué. Uh, because it's uh, about the past and the verb is do in, in action. Exacto, ahí usamos el verbo, miren Narciso, usted lo usó como auxiliar, pero aquí sí ya lo usaron como, como un verbo, no como auxiliar. What did you do yesterday? Y es una information question porque Marlene le puso what, esa es la clave. Uh -huh. What did you do yesterday, Narciso? Respond, respóndame, what did you do yesterday? Where did you go? Read a book. Ok, pero digámoslo en pasado, ¿no? Si so, I, I, read, I, read, 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 I read, I read, acuérdense que es pasado, I read a book. And you can say I read a book yesterday, or you can say I read a book about, bla, 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 yesterday. Ok. You can say that. Ok, y la siguiente, ¿cómo les quedaría, guys? Where do you go? Ok, where did you go? Estamos usando last week. Usamos un WH, where did, luego, where did you, el verbo go, ahí está. Where did you go last week? Where did you go, where did you, where did you go last week? Ok, a ver, preguntemos, Marlene, where did you go last week? Uh, I went... I went uh, to work. I went to work. I went to work. Uh -huh. El to uh -huh. es como ah. I went to work. Good. Nice. Let's see. La siguiente. ¿Quién quiere hacer la siguiente? What do you buy? I like it. <laughs> Me llega. What did you buy? What did you buy? ¿Qué compró? Your wallet. Uh -huh. What do you buy with the thirty dollars Bitcoin from the press? Ya, ya, hasta ya. Okay. Sí. How, how do you say uh, canjear? Change. Exchange. No, ahí les queda. Exchange. No. Comienza oh. con, con letra R. R. No, ahí les queda la tarea. Está con letter R. Letter R. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, so, what do you buy with the Bitcoins, President? Reward. It's reward. No. 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 Ok. Ok. I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb. Okay. I'm, gonna, voy a I'm, gonna look, I'm going to look for it. Yes, I'm going, I'm going to, to look for it. Look for it. Um, look, look. See. Okay, porque reward is yeah. a recompensa. Reward. Okay. The, 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 the donut. I bought donuts. Donuts. <laughs> donuts. <laughs> two for one. We two two for one. Okay. Half price. <laughs> Half price. <laughs> okay, I like it. What about uh, work? What do you have here? Work. When did you work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When did you work? When did you work? When did you work? When did you work? I worked. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. What about read? What can you say to me? What did you read the book? What did you read? No digamos book porque ayer les estaríamos dando la respuesta. O a menos que digamos what kind, what, what kind, kind of book 
did you read, I see. What kind mm -hmm. of book did you read? I read a novel, I read a, maybe literature, science, or poems, like that. Yeah, is. Tell, tell. Uh -huh. Exactly. See? Uh-huh. How do you use see? What did you see? Uh-huh. What, what did you see? Uh, what do you see? What do you see? ¿Qué viste? What did you see? What do you see on TV last night, for example? Mm -hmm. In Netflix. Uh, what do you see on What do you see on Netflix, right? Um, la, last weekend. I I saw a movie. I saw a movie. Exactly. I saw a movie. Mm -hmm. I saw a movie. Great. Respondemos con el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Eso es importante. Ok. Pero quiero tomarme los últimos cinco minutos para hablar un poquito de, es, de lo que estaba notando este, el hecho, la pronunciación de los verbos, guys. Y eso es, that is so important. Basically, cuando hablamos de los verbos regular, ¿cuáles hemos dicho que son los verbos regulares? Regular verbs. When, finally, ed. Exactly, when they finish, when, when they end in ed. Este, no entiendo de que estamos, este, vamos a hacer un repaso, porque en este, eso es lo que estamos haciendo en esta sesión. Voy a mencionarles, por ejemplo, hay tres categorías de cómo pronunciar los ID, ¿verdad? Tenemos three categories. Entonces, ¿cuáles son las tres categorías o los tres para pronunciar ID? ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Cuáles son las tres? Okay. Y... And, um, D, T, and I, T. Exactly. And it. Esos son los tres. A ver, eso es como lo pronunciamos en pasado. El verbo agregar o sumar, ¿cómo decimos? El pasado de ese verbo es, el primero. Added. Added. Muy bien. Added. A este verbo added. le agregamos id. Added. A este otro ya se lo puse en pasado. Miren. Lifted, el verbo levantar. O sea, lifted, el verbo terminar. Entir, descansar. Resistir, defender. Defended. Defended, esperar. Waiting. 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 Y, y el, este, pretender o simular. Pretended. 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 ¿Cuál es, el, ¿Cuál es el common denominator here? Tenemos todos estos verbos en su forma base, terminan con T o terminan con T. Miren, en res. Entonces, lo que hemos dicho que si un verbo termina con, con T o D en su pronunciación, le ponemos it. 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 Ok, eso es lo que hemos dicho. Así que eh, siéntase con la libertad de agregar una, una extra sílaba a estos verbos. Added, lifted, ended, rested, defended, waited, pretended. Y hay otros más comunes. Wanted, uh, es uno de los más comunes también. Visited, también. ¿Verdad? Que son los que ya terminan con T. Les ponemos una sílaba adicional. Deme unos ejemplos. Deme un ejemplo ustedes. Un ejemplo. Expected. Ajá. Expected. Invited. 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 Uh, invited. Invited. Attended. ¿Qué más? Graduated. Graduated. Ok. Graduated. Muy bien. Hated. <laughs> hated. I hated. Exploited. Expated. Expanded. Okay. Empty. Siento en, en, en la libertad de. <laughs> De, de agregar la sílaba adicional, ok, muy bien anything else, alguien más que quiera compartir otro otro verbo de estos locate ajá, the verb locate, exactly, locate el verbo ubicar uh, located, located muy bien, located, exactly muy bien uh, ahora quiero ver esa es la primera categoría. Vamos a ver la otra categoría. Deme un segundito. 
los verbos que terminan con T o D, les ponemos la sílaba adicional y luego tenemos estos otros. Miren, es el color solo porque se quedó así es azul. ¿no? El color no tiene nada que ver aquí. Guys. Estos verbos, este, el ED de estos verbos lo vamos a pronunciar con, un son, con la T nada más. Con la T, solo con la T. O sea que no voy a decir dropped, voy a decir drop. drop. No voy a decir shaped, voy a decir shaped. Shape. Voy a decir zipped, voy a decir zipped. Un sorbo, zipped. No voy a decir rapid, voy a decir wrapped. ¿Qué tienen en común estos verbos, estos primeros? El verbo, la forma base, terminan con sonido de P. Drop. Sí. Shape, zip, wrap. Si esto sucede, la, el ED lo pronuncio con, con T. No. Así, esa es, la, esa es la clave. Si los verbos terminan con sonido de P al final, no. el, el ED le pongo T, nada más. Eso se lo digo en algún momento. Sí. Veamos el, la segunda categoría. Tenemos hoy un minuto más y eso creo que lo vamos a retomar la otra vez. Pero sí quiero que vaya, vaya usted a buscar los, los, los apuntes que le di. Y recuerde las, las letras finales, los sonidos, y eso nos va a determinar si decimos, uh, agregamos sílaba adicional, si le ponemos T o le ponemos D. Por ejemplo, para todos estos son pronunciados con T, T así. T. Y, lo, sí, y la, hay otra categoría que le ponemos D, esa es la que hay que, sí, no la vamos a lograr a ver este día. Miren, lo. Ajá. Yo estoy practicando algo. Yo ayer los imprimí y ya cuando estamos, ahorita que estamos en clase, si hay un verbo que esté en pasado y no sé cómo pronunciarlo, busco la categoría y con eso me baso en la pronunciación. Vale. Eso ayuda vale. también. Excelente. Bueno, a mí la verdad eh, que me diga eso me encanta porque todos debemos de estar aprendiendo. Creo que todos nos conocemos y sabemos que no funciona. Guys, así que, ese, ay, bueno, en general a mí ese, me gusta andar la, los sonidos, ¿verdad? Yo tengo, esa categoría, tengo una tablita con las categorías y se las compartí a ustedes porque eso da helps a lot. Entonces cada quien... Uh, puede sacar su manera de aprenderse los sonidos para que no vuelvan a decir coled, para que no vuelvan a decir droped, no vuelvan a decir eh, este, verdad, no, verdad, eso ya no se lo permita, ya no se lo permita. Ajá, y ya cuando van a decir, eh, para decir, eh, yo visité, van a decir visit, no, hay días con libertad, I visit, it, verdad, no, porque sabe que le va a poner la sílaba adicional, eso es lo que quiero que tengan claro. Bueno, eh, no logramos revisar la última categoría, pero vamos a dar un espacio este, mañana para retomarlo. Un gusto, como siempre, Gaiso, les tomo el, el, la, la asistencia y por favor hay que hacer las tareas porque mañana mando ya las, las notas, ¿ok? Uh, Narciso. Present, teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Present. Gabriela. No, Herson. Present. Thank you, José. Present. Miguel, José Rubén. No, JC. Present. Linda. Present, teacher. María Idalia. Present, I am here. Thank you, María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Norma. Present, teacher. Rafa. I'm your teacher. Rachel, Raquel. Ray, driving on the United States, Nana here. And uh, Xiomara. Present teacher. Judy. Okay. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. Once again, take care. Have a nice night and see you tomorrow on Thursday. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, how's it going, Norma? How's everything? What questions do you have? What questions, what comments do you have for me? Um, the construction sentences with did. I oh, okay. confused with uh, 
simple tense y todo eso, teacher. Okay, what, ex what exactly? What's, uh, you want to double check how to make questions with it? ¿Quieres, quieres revisar um, cómo construimos oraciones con did? Sí, yes. Vaya, este, ¿cuál es la que siente que le presenta más dificultad? La que es que con, con este... Porque tenemos es que a veces tres, se ¿verdad? pone el... Ajá, el que es... Vaya, el que pone el did... Y en otra donde solo cambia el verbo. Ha pasado. Entonces ahí me confundo. O sea. Ah, vaya. Va en cada... Sí. Lo que tienen que tener claro en primer lugar es que solo va en pasado en las afirmativas. Si una oración mm. es afirmativa, solo el verbo en pasado. I bought a car. Yo compré un carro. Es una, es una oración en afirmativa, una oración positiva. Si fuese la negación, ahí te le pongo el did, porque el did es para negaciones. I didn't. Ahí sí, I didn't. Y el verbo en su forma base. I didn't buy a car. Ahí sí lo pongo, porque ya este, el didn't solo lo utilizo en la negativa y en la pregunta. La pregunta, did you, did you buy a car? Compró un carro. Mire, entonces ahí sí, es decir que en la afirmativa es la única donde uso el verbo en pasado, solito. En la, en la negativa sí le Ahí pone. sí se transforma el verbo, ¿verdad? Exactamente, en la afirmativa usamos el pasado. El pasado. Uh -huh. okay. Vaya, le voy, a poner un, le voy a poner un ejemplo ahorita, le voy a poner un verbo. Okay. Este, vaya, úsenlo. Ahí le mandé, créeme, una afirmativa. Go. Afirmativa. I, I went to my school. Ok, negativa. Negativa. I didn't go to my work. Ok, y la, la pregunta. Did... Did you go to my school? Ok, muy bien. Y si quisiéramos crear una, una pregunta con the information que la llevan WH Words, ¿cómo la formularía? ¿Cómo, teacher? Una pregunta que lleve WH Words, por ejemplo, where, why, ah. how, when. Um, pasado. Where, why, how, when. Afirmativo pasado. Ahí sería, sería siempre en... Es, es una pregunta, es una pregunta y es en pasado. Esa pregunta, la que usted hizo de did you, did you go, ahora la pregunta va a ser abierta, ¿verdad? Con where o con when. Usemos un... Where do you... No. I, where did you go? Where did you go? Muy bien, ¿dónde fui? ¿Dónde, fue? ¿Dónde fuiste? Where did you go? Muy bien. Esa... Un verbo más. Vamos a usar el verbo, el verbo visitar, visit. Cree una, una oración en afirmativo. Use otro sujeto que no sea el hay. Visit. He visited uh -huh. my aunt. Ok, he visited, él visitó a mi tía, he visited my aunt, o oh, he visited his aunt, podría ser, si es la tía de él. Ah. ¿Cómo sería en negativo? En negativo. En negativo, he didn't visit his aunt. aunt. ¿Y la pregunta? Did he visit his aunt? Okay. Está bien, normal, la verdad es que usted lo hace muy bien. <risa> Me cuesta. <risa> Me cuesta las estructuras de... Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Pero es... sí, es, creo que sí ya le entendí, Tichar, esto de los afirmativos y de preguntas y negativas. Vaya, este, ¿qué otra pregunta tiene, Norma? ¿Otra question? No, por el momento eso, Tichar. Vaya. Y la verdad sería? que las estructuras siempre de las oraciones, pues, siempre uh -huh. me confundo. Uh -huh. 
hay que seguir practicando, Norman. La verdad es que ustedes van haciendo un buen trabajo. Yo, yo admiro un montón a este grupo. En lo, en lo personal admiro un montón porque eh, le, todos le van poniendo ganas. Y pues ojalá que nadie se vaya a quedar y le sigan poniendo ahí corazón, mente y corazón. Ojalá que no, uh -huh. Las dos ojalá cosas. Que no, saque. <risa> <risa> no, hombre, no, hombre. Ya a ver que si le ponen interés va a seguir este volado. Así que, eh, pues lo Así es. Entonces, bueno, si no tiene ninguna otra pregunta, algún comentario, algún... Mm -hmm. uh, bueno. Entonces, para mí es un gusto, Norma. Gracias. Cuídense mucho. Try to rest and see you tomorrow. Gracias, Richard. Bueno. Bye. -bye. Bye.